The Aerial Futures Leading Edge Symposium is a gathering of really interesting minds dealing with the future of airports. Designers, architects, planners, artists, technologists, transportation companies that have to solve this problem. I came to Los Angeles for the Aerial Futures Symposium. So the topic was very intriguing to me. This idea of airports as public spaces, um, thinking of them as transportation facilities that also had a role to play in the civic and social life of the communities and the cities in which they were located. It's thought-provoking. It really requires me to go back and rethink some of the fundamental basic beliefs that I have about running an airport and what an airport is, what an airport should be. Um, matters of sense of place, of experience, of security, of uh, common grand space, of architecture, of form and function, of resilience and, and sustainability. All those things that I thought I had locked down suddenly have come apart. Within my studio, I tend to be very myopic about very specific technological effects or relationships in design, and it was nice to see um, those technologies in a broader context and, and really understand the consequences of them for the architectural environment. My main takeaway has been that there's amazing projections of technology for the future of airports but that, that hasn't actually impinged on our experience of airports. Everybody is interested in airports. I'm a scholar of the American built environment and airports are becoming more and more prominent, not only as physical features in the environment, but in everyone's daily lives. The information presented at this symposium has really energized me and excited me about the potential and then how do we all kind of work together to be change agents to transform uh, what is not the you know, universally hated experience of travel into something that's special and personalized for the different types of people who fly. The Aerial Futures Leading Edge Symposium is a perfect opportunity to actually hear all sorts of divergent perspectives around where we're headed. A lot of it comes down to fight testing some ideas in a setting that's it's really about conversation and that's really, really hard to replicate anywhere else except at an event like this and that's why it's so invaluable because it gives me an opportunity to talk with like-minded thinkers who might actually have divergent ideas.